Hello! Since fall is right around the corner, I am inspired to give readings for the last quarter of our year 2016. Autumn begins when the sun enters into the tropical sign of Libra on Wednesday, September 22nd, 2016 at 10.31 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Significator card for Autumn, as well as for the sign Libra, is the Major Arcana card, Justice. We see the scales here in the picture as representing the balanced division of the equal amount of day and night. And with the sword here, we see that Lady Justice also is announcing that winter is soon to follow. Before I begin your reading, please keep in mind not all the messages given will apply to every person that you share your sign with. In such case, please consider watching your rising moon and sun sign in either the tropical or sidereal systems or whatever sign energy you identify with the most. Use your intuition. You may also choose to consult a professional for a personalized reading. So, without further ado, here are your autumn readings. Hi Leo, for your fall reading, I will be pulling four cards from the Thoth Tarot deck. The first card will be for the remainder of September from the first day of autumn through the 30th. The second card will be for the month of October. The fourth card Excuse me, the third card will be for the month of November, and the fourth card will be for the first day of December up until the winter solstice on the 21st. In addition to the four cards for fall, I will also pull a supplemental message card from the Oracle of the Grail Code deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. At the end of your card reading, if you wish to stay tuned, I will read the book's full explanation on that message for you. Then I will pull an advice card from the playing cards, and lastly, I will select a card from the Angels of Light deck to see what angel is accompanying you for this fall season of September 16. So, Leo, let's see what fall has in store for you. Okay. Queen of Cups, Ace of Discs, Eight of Swords, and the Five of Discs. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like you're um, really still in some pretty good vibes uh, for the um, month of September. We have the Queen of Cups here. Which to me, it looks like you've really been um, taking care of yourself. I see you putting yourself first, you nurturing yourself, putting your needs first. Um, you've been very kind of in a psychic mode. She's very um, psychic. She has a lot of psychic energy. So really in tune with your feelings, in tune with other people's feelings, in tune with some of the celestial energy that we've had. I see you being pretty sensitive. Okay. Also, I'm getting um, sensitivity issues maybe coming up for you where you could realize that you um, are becoming more sensitive to foods you've been eating, chemicals, things like that. She's just a very sensitive person. Um, the Queen of Cups, I see you being in a really good flow of energy here. So that's how I'm going to interpret that. Then for October, this looks really good. So whatever energy you were in there with the Queen of Cups, you've got something promising coming in for October. Okay, it's a new start. It's a new beginning when it comes to most likely money or financial tangible things. You could also have a new person coming in. Um, looking at the energy of the card, I see you being really supportive. You've got sort of these wings all around you. You're being very much supported. And this also has to do with your support system. So your friends, your family, things like that. Um, and a little um, opportunity coming in here to make some money or have something concrete really turn out well with a new project that you start in October. Then for the month of November, I see this actually being a little bit, you getting a little bit caught up. Okay, so you started out 
you know, September, October, feeling really good having this opportunity, but with opportunity comes challenges, usually. It says here down at the bottom, there is some interference, okay? So, I feel like this is interference from other people. Um, there could be a little bit of jealousy or maybe a little bit of envy. And I feel like those two uh, feelings um, do serve a purpose. Uh, they are part of the human spectrum of emotions. Um, so they do serve a function if they're kept in a healthy balance. I feel like envy spurs on, our, if we are envious towards other people, it's, it spurs on motivation for us. So it can be used in a constructive manner, but I do see um, someone tripping you up here, okay? Things could be a little bit confusing um, <clears throat> as far as the communication or you may not really be seeing where you're going to carry out this new plan. You're not really sure how it's going to work out yet for the month of November. Also, month of November is the start of the holiday season. Okay, so if you do have plans that um, you felt inspired with and you've just now started the beginning of it, uh, when you're around your family, um, if they're not supportive, I wouldn't share any plans. Um, don't share your goals with people that um, may want to discourage you, okay? But if you know that you could rely on these people, you know in the past they have a good track record with being supportive, go ahead and share those ideas. But um, I see you being a little bit overwhelmed with all of the other the feedback. So just kind of take things, um, you know, as they come and uh, try to be focused. And it's okay to not know how this is going to work out yet, okay? Maybe it's not, you're not supposed to know how it's going to work out yet. December, okay, so from the 1st of December up until the 21st, this is before Christmas. Um, it's just sort of wrapping up the, um, we're in the middle of the holidays here from Thanksgiving to uh, Christmas, and you've got the worry card. So you might be worrying about finances, about how you're going to um, maybe buy gifts for everybody, Okay, since there are five pentacles here, it does have to do with money, <clears throat> worries around money and gifts, things like that. I'm seeing that um, you don't need to buy gifts for everybody. Leo, I know you're a very generous sign, but just like a few, like a handful of people, like there's literally five discs here and there's five fingers on your hand. So like a handful of people um, and you don't have to spend a lot. Um, you could also be worrying about, um, I, I see worrying about money, okay, and this is a phase. I do see like a crescent moon here um, and other alchemy symbols here, so I do feel like things are going to change. Um, this is a passing energy, okay. So you also might um, end up getting a cold, which is pretty common for that time of the year so this can do with colds or minor sicknesses that you can heal from um if there is someone coming into your life in uh, october you um def definitely would have karma with them in december okay so this could be a fulfilling of your karmic destiny with this person so there's a purpose to fulfill there's always a purpose with karma so i'm going to go ahead and um grab one of these uh, oracle cards for you and I'm going to shuffle. They're really big cards so they're kind of fun and entertaining for me to shuffle them. Um, but they're a little bit bulky so just have a little bit of patience while I do this. And I'm going to shuffle them. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Patience. Patience, as they say, is a virtue. And like I said in the beginning, I will go ahead and read about this at the end of your reading if you want to stay tuned to hear the book's message on that. But um, I see you having like a lot of hope in your eyes for something uh, new to turn out well, okay? 
this is the beginning stages of something. So if it doesn't unfold overnight, that's okay. It looks like you might get discouraged a little bit here. It's like the plans, it's not happening as quickly as I wanted it to. And I feel like you might be a little bit impatient because you're so excited about it. Um, so I'm saying, okay, just have patience for things to unfold the way they naturally need to and go with the flow on that one, okay? So then I'm going to pull an advice card. Oops, my card's turned around. Okay. Going to pull an advice card for uh, you for fall. This is very general. Um, let's see what other sort of supplemental message. I thought this would just be fun to add to your reading. Okay, so you've got the um, Jack of spades coming in here. Okay. This is really um, taking charge and taking the lead and just going full force with something. Okay. You might want to rein it back a little bit because these are a little bit contradictory here. The patience energy. This guy is not patient at all. So the advice card again, I feel like is saying to maybe um, pull the energy back a little bit. Um, <clears throat> if someone tries to trip you up, be patient because everyone is kind of going through their own learning process, okay? So don't like come out to like attack them in any way. If you're feeling threatened or tripped up, just just kind of just know like you can take it slow, you can take it easy. Um, so that's what I see, but I really see you charging forward with that. So that's what I see for fall for you. If you want to save this reading and then come back to it, in the following months to kind of see how it played out. Hindsight is always 2020. So let's go ahead and pull an angel card for you, Leo, to see what angel energy is going to be accompanying you for this fall season. Okay, I'm feeling like I need to kind of, there we go. Angel of growth. Wonderful. Okay, so if you're starting out, this is like seed money. Okay, so it's a small investment. It's very beginning. It needs time to grow is what it's saying. Uh, growth opportunities on this physical plane are limitless. Your desire to gain as much from the earthly life as possible has called this angel of growth to you. Use this angelic help to connect with God energy, influencing your beliefs, expanding who you are, and inspiring how you live your life. Beautiful energy for you, Leo. That's going to conclude your uh, reading, your card pulling here, and I will go ahead and read from the book about the patience card if you want to stay tuned so i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching oh and if you have any questions or comments about your reading i will personally respond to them if you uh, leave them in the comment section below so all right thank you so much Okay, Leo, so the meaning of patience from the book is patience's appearance at this time on your path signals a period of strategic waiting. It is time to hold the vision strongly and securely with an expectancy of great things to come. If you are trying to make it happen using all your energy and will, let go and align with divine will. The timing is not quite right. This time is about energizing the vision more deeply, trusting and knowing that it will all come together in perfect timing. If you are an avowed speed, caffeine, sugar, adrenaline demon, racked by an racked and tortured by ambling, rambling drivers, people and machines. Sorry if that was awkward wording. Um, do you like making things happen by throwing huge amounts of your energy at them? When you sit down, do you unconsciously shake your leg, tap your foot, drum your fingers? Perhaps you are uh, lean in patience with yourself, urging yourself on and on when you are tired and need to rest, or waspish with yourself if you are less than perfect. Stop making the acquisition of patience a top priority. Patience is nurtured within when you give yourself permission to take all the space and time you need to do whatever or be whatever. 
This will enable you to discover your own unique rhythms and to plan your life accordingly. Likewise, after extending the gift of patience to yourself, it's time to extend it to others. Cultivating patience is a way of simplifying your life on the inner planes. And since what is true on the inner planes manifests on the outer planes, patient is an elegant way of using the right amount of energy to entice what is needed into your life.